come up. But this is a different Chris we're talking about. Post-pandemic Chris on another level. First yeah. seed here, taking Encore, dominating Zeno, getting yep. third, only losing to, what was it, Sinji? I don't know who he lost to in winners. Um, I'm not sure either. Suarez, Maybe of numbers. course, eh. you like, know. Honestly, these guys are so neck and neck with their with their skill, but it's just that if PK Chris has had his number recently, then it's so hard is, to break the momentum. Chance, yeah. You need to break the momentum, so. We'll see what Suarez cooks up for us this set. Maybe uh, maybe this will be the beginning of a new trend. Mm. We will see. So we start, a lot of sets starting on Smashville today. This is feeling like yeah, uh, very interesting. I guess, um, you know, Chris likes, you know, the possibility of a lot more close quarters combat. Uh, both of them trying to avoid a more campy uh, game. So I made this comment in an earlier set uh, last week, I think it was. Um, maybe the week before, I'm not sure. This set definitely, th this this stage is a lot for Ness in a very, very specific way. So, um, when Ness does, oof, these struggles. Yeah. When Ness uh, is doing his platform canceled, like, downward angled uh, PK fires, right? Mm -hmm. On any other stage, when you're on the platforms, wow. Wow, yeah, those take setups. that stock, yep. When you're doing those from the platforms, you do them towards the center of the stage, facing in, right? Mm -hmm. On this stage, where do you do them? You do them outwards, towards the corners, right? Yeah. So, Chris likes to pick this stage, knowing that when he's playing against players, he thinks are gonna camp in the corner. Gosh, gotcha, that can, makes sense. He can throw. Oh, what was that? Yeah, Chris. that was weird. All right, shake that off, Chris. Shake that off. So if he thinks Suarez is just gonna camp the corner, he can use the platform that's positioned in the center to kind of break that up. And if he th if he finds matchups where they're, uh, you know, holding the center really well, then he goes to a stage where the platforms are oriented differently. See how that that just perfectly aims at the corner? It's really really yeah. well set up for him. Which means Suarez is going to have to figure out some other method of camping here if he wants to commit to that kind of play style. Yeah, I really think in this matchup it is up to Yoshi to sort of initiate things. Um, yeah. Because both of them are, are characters that sort of have the same thing where they, they struggle a bit to get in and they're, they're mm. characters that like to wall out a lot. Yep. Um, but the difference is PK Fire. PK Fire is a very big factor in this. Uh, yeah, and Yoshi obviously has his own tools to kind of deal with PK Fire. Uh, obviously, double jump armor can sometimes come into play, but not always. And, uh, you know, especially when he has a, an advantage position like this, although Chris is breaking that right up with that interesting uh, approach. Ooh, yo yo. I feel yeah, like up air would have been better there. Maybe. Um, I think if he held it a little bit longer, it yeah. might have done something. But uh, Suarez trying to take the stock here. Chris is off stage. All right, gets back to ledge, unlike last stock. Very important. Yeah, Suarez is not really setting up for those eggs. Um, here, here's, here's, I think, the, the biggest uh, weakness as Suarez as a player is that he'll he'll struggle when he's behind quite a bit, which is a big thing with Yoshi. But uh, Suarez, is, he's got a condition where he's got to play more patient and sort of force uh, Chris to be in these situations that he wants. And I, there I like you go. I patience at the ledge. Speaking of patience, I just don't know how he's going to make some sort of forward momentum happen here. He's really got to find a big opening, maybe start with a down air and get some big percent. And it looks like that's what he's going for. Landing back air, F tilt. These are going to be the things. Bringing out that egg lay. Definitely going to make Chris second guess himself when it gets later into the stock if Suarez can build up the damage. But he's having trouble getting off of the uh, ledge here. Good parry from Chris, but the cross up. Egg lay going to miss and the back air is going to take it. So Chris... Pretty solid game, pretty solid win. Um, I can't feel like it felt like the first two stocks went really fast, and the last one a little, it slowed down a little bit. Yeah. I think Suarez slowing down the pace is going to help him out a lot because Chris is very tempo-based, and like if you can disrupt his tempo, it, it, it pays off pretty well. So. All right, so what would Chris be banning here? I, I think, think Chris, Lilat and I think Chris wants to ban... Uh, no, I think Chris wants to ban um, PS2 and Small Battlefield because I think gotcha. he wants that... like. I think he does not like the platform arrangements on this matchup on those stages. I think he'd much rather gain the top platform, which he can do. Ness has some stuff he can do with platforms too, so don't feel like it's all uh, it's all Yoshi. Oh yeah, stuff. that's definitely true. I just think um, the top platform will benefit Suarez a lot more in disadvantage as well. Yoshi having that top platform to go to makes mm -hmm. landing a bit easier because he is a lot floatier. That's true. Um, meanwhile, Yoshi can shark very well with that top platform. But, uh, oh, just barely missing that grab. How unfortunate. Oh, great back air is to stuff out that down air. 
I think those parries and the jump read too. These full hop dares are not going to really work as much. Uh, Chris is going for those anti airs a lot more. He's not going for the spaced out landing back airs like Suarez is sort of expecting. Man, and these parries are just absolutely non-stop. Yeah. Oh, and the egg delays the back air and the strong hit finds a way to connect anyway. Yeah, that is the way you edge guard Yoshi. You gotta go through that egg. They are breakable. It extends the hitbox and Yoshi's mm. usually right behind that egg. Uh, so Chris showing some uh, good matchup. It could be tricky knowledge. though to break those eggs. You need a reliable disjoint. Oh, of course, yeah. Suarez looks like he's having some controller issues this, this, uh, this set. I've noticed a couple of... Uh, Bad egg tosses and like weird, weird momentum based things. So, all right. I like he's, I, I love how he's shifting up that momentum right now, though, with these dashes and kind of just letting Chris uh, do the approaching. Ooh. All right. That was great mix up. Went in for a possible bear mixed up with the egg lay. Once again, using that egg lay, very important. You got to get the person guessing whether they need to uh, shield, but. Great job baiting out the shield grab and great punish of it fair, fully spaced out. You're not going to punish that with a shield grab. Yo, whoever got... Oh, we ran them into this music choice, right? I was going to say, like, this is, like, the only good Pokemon song. Hey, they're all good. <laughs> I'm not going to get into this conversation. Suarez trying to find a way in. Chris as well. That egg going to set up on the platform. Suarez going to sort of take back. He's not trying to contest Chris on the platform. You see how he's throwing corners from the eggs? Without that center Smashville platform, it's hard to throw PK fire reliably, right? Mm. But I like that Chris kind of just waited it all out and uh, found a way to get in. But it looks Ooh! like this is going to get turned around. I've never seen someone Suarez pop up for a Yoshi has combo. Suarez has been <laughs> labbing. And that was amazing. <laughs> I have to disagree. <laughs> Listen, respectfully, I, I'm sure it all looks the same to you. It does. Us, us Yoshi players, we all we all look the same to you, you know. Yep. Um, yep. but uh, I am Yoshiist. That that was definitely you had like a sort of instant double jump up there, the setup on the platform, and the read for the dare. Um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Suarez takes this lead here, and you're noticing a change in pace. It's because whoever has the lead here has an advantage. As I say that, PK Chris uh, catching Suarez, throwing egg there with um, Fair, and it's going to take the stock. But of course, Suarez still has the percent lead, which gives him an advantage here. Oh, a little too ambitious on that edge guard, though. Suarez still maintaining a strong uh, positional advantage here. Oh, great read on the roll. Great option coverage. Nair not going to kill yet, but is going to set up for this edge guard. And oh. the egg perfectly thrown yep. to intercept the path of PK Thunder, disrupting how far it goes. And Suarez on his counter pick. He's going to take that game. So um, that, that combo was definitely a big impact on how that went. Mm. And, and, you, and, the, and the stage itself did play a part in yeah, that combo. Yeah, definitely. Um, Chris, though, disproving your theory, opting for Pokemon Stadium here, maybe there wasn't really a better stage to go to. Maybe not. I mean, I would. I, th I feel like he would probably not mind going back to Smashville, but uh, I guess he wants some space, you know? Well, he did win, and there's... Um, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't think Suarez would agree. No, no, no. There's not much else in this matchup besides Triplats. Uh, I guess he got, like, FD and stuff. That could be very effective. I don't think FD would be too good for Ness. I don't know. I think it'd actually be pretty even. I think it's matchup dependent. I don't know how Ness really fares, because I always ban FD, so I never yeah. really play against Ness on here, on, on FD. Um, either way, Chris taking a small lead here. Suarez going to get out of that disadvantage, taking center stage. like. Messed up the egg toss there. You were talking about that before. I don't know if that's necessarily controller issues as much as... He's shaking his head a lot, so I don't know. He... I, I think he's just upset that he's making plays that are not wise. Well, I don't think anyone wants to throw eggs the wrong direction, you know. Oh, yeah. good job. Reacting to the fact that the PK Thunder was wrong and just kind of... Oh, my God. Him. Catching the air dodge direction. Not going to kill, though. Egg roll? Hmm. I don't know if it was a mess, uh, misinput there. But, it definitely uh, was not an intentional input. 
<laughs> this isn't Carlos we're talking about. Chris very fine with just holding this lead and making Suarez approach, but Suarez is trying to stay true to his laurels, but I don't know if this is going to work out. Chris is very determined. Yeah, there's the thing, like, um, like I was saying earlier with, okay, that's going to be a stock. Like I was saying earlier, Egg Throw has a lot of uses, but I wouldn't say necessarily if you are behind, it is a great option. It's usually what you want to use to force the opponent to approach and then take that, but it's not very good up close. No, yeah. It, it's Especially with that PK fire looming. It's certainly not the best up, up close option, for sure. But, uh, you know, this is the kind of distance where you want to use it. And uh, Yeah, like, look, you see second Suarez starts throwing at center stage. Chris is just going to take PK fire on the platform, and yep. Suarez is in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Really trying to find a jump, but Chris was sticking to the ground. A good mix up with the egg throw. Chris probably expecting like an air dodge there, but nice, up smash nice catching. Up smash. Yeah. Turn around too. That rising bear, not very safe if you know where they're going with it. But Suarez, no, not quite. Gets a bit of damage, has the advantage. Doing a really good job building up this damage on Chris. Looking for a stock here. No, not Almost. quite yet. Just a little bit off the percent range. Chris still had to get back to the ground. Suarez covered like so much too. And uh, good stuff from Chris was, I don't know how he made it back to the ground alive. <laughs> Chris should be very dead right now. <laughs> well, I think it was because after that, uh, that double jump up air, Suarez sort of had to recover, which is yeah. one of the small weaknesses of uh, Yoshi's double jump. Uh, not double jump, juggling game. Mm -hmm. um, either way, here's another big disadvantage. Having to deal with getting the kill when Ness oh. can just shield all of that. And that's he's, that's he's what I was a, talking about with the egg lay conditioning from before. Yeah, that's what we need a lot command more. Grabs. Yeah. And it's definitely hard, and you want to start, start mixing that up with like... Ooh. Oh, jeez. Very sneaky, Chris. Yeah. Very, very sneaky. Yeah, Chris just playing oh, really right. well. That's the best of three, so that's the set. Yep. He's going to advance. He's looking to make his way back. Uh, and he's getting the rematch against Reflection here in Loser's Finals. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how this goes.